worry, Dust. I don't think you're double jumping over that. Stupid avalanches ruin everything. Go ahead, name me one good thing an avalanche has ever done. Well, now that you mention it, this might be a crazy idea, but maybe we can clear some of the snow off of that mountainside. You mean, make another avalanche? That's the idea, yes. You're crazy. I love it. Really? Do I need to be the voice of caution here? Need I explain how creating an avalanche puts us all in danger? It's really the only way, Aura. Yeah, Aura, it really is. Is it? It is. Very well. Let's do this thing! Well, that did something. It sure did. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we find another one. Huh? That obviously wasn't enough. We need to break more pillars. Fidget, I think the bitter cold is creating lapses in your judgment. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I'm perfectly... perfectly... <laughs> Dust, be careful. Watch overhead. The snow is not the only thing you are shaking loose. Not, not enough. Not enough. We'll need to find more if we're going to clear away that snow. We really should get you someplace warm, Fidget. I think you're coming down with something.
lovely singing voice. Stop, Fidget. Just stop. Oh, I think I'm coming down with something. Yes, it is. We figured that out on our own. Come, Dust. Let us continue. presence has been stirred by your actions. Let's not keep it waiting then. Clear. Onward and upward. I knew that this was a bad idea.
There was a road here. I remember it. Before that day. Look, up ahead. A village. All the way up here? Do you think it's that Moonblood camp Kane was talking about? No, it's something else. It's... En enough talking. Let's get up there. Halt! What? No. Impossible! Cassius! What did you call me? Who are you? What are you doing in this place? You... You were dead! No. No, this is not possible. I don't know what demon you are, but you will not step any closer! Kill this! Thing! Why? Why destroy such a peaceful place? We didn't want any of this! Gus, what are you talking about? And who is Cassius? That's not... It's not my name. I'd remember it. I'd know it when I heard it. Looks like this place has been destroyed for quite some time. A year, actually. Huh? How do you know that? This was Ginger's village. I was here one year ago. According to Fuse, according to Ginger, I helped murder everyone in this village. Oh, dust. But I don't remember any of it. I remember this place, but it feels like it's been more than a year. Aro, what does it mean? It only means that things are not as they seem. Explore the village further, Dust. Let us see what secrets it hides. This house... Do you remember something, Dust? This is impossible. Dust? How? Do you see now? But how, Ara? I don't understand. The answers lie above, Dust. Ginger. She was sleeping right here. On the night I came to say goodbye. But... I hesitated. I didn't want to wake her. Didn't want her to worry about me. She couldn't know what I was about to do. Dust, what are you saying? She couldn't know that I was about to go avenge our parents. You mean, you're... But how? What's going on here? I... I remember now. But how? How can I have helped destroy this village? but be a victim of that same act. That's impossible. Only impossible for a creature with a single soul. Ginger. Those eyes. I know those eyes. So, Mithrarin, you finally see the truth. Who are you? I am Elder Grey Eyes, leader of the Moonblood people. Well, what's left of them, that is. What did you mean just then, that I can finally see the truth? What do you know about me? His eyes, Elder. They are Jin's eyes. They do look remarkably similar to your brother's, yes. That is because his soul lives on within dust. What? However, to suit our needs, we required two souls. The soul of innocence is a noble thing, but without skill, without power, Dust would have been struck down just as easily as your brother was on that fated day. No. 
So we combined your brother's soul with that of his murderer, the royal assassin known as Cassius. They perished at the same time, forever entwined. Never before had I heard of such an event. You murderer! My parents did nothing wrong! You have been deceived, little one. Your parents turned against their king, in acts of pure treason. What resistance there was, was led by your family alone. You destroyed my village, murdered my friends and family. You will not survive this day! I take no joy in slaughtering one as young as you, child. But you have forced my hand. A grave injustice was done that day. Cassius murdered a defenseless djinn, but his pride and arrogance proved to be his undoing. But how? How can this... this thing be my brother? It's not possible. I couldn't even remember you when we met. You are Jin, yes. But you are also Cassius. Two souls, forever at odds. One of innocence, one of power. Together you form the one we call Mithrarin, he who is born of the dust. I never knew what happened. Jin just disappeared one night. I had always hoped he would turn up alive someday. That he would come back. But... Could you really be him? Ginger... I don't know. I... I don't know. Now, Dust, I imagine you have many questions. Please, do not hesitate to ask them. Who, or I guess, what am I? You are what my people call Sen Mithrarin. He who is born of the dust, created from the essence of the life thread itself. You see, my people have been on the verge of extinction for a great many years. General Gaius planned to eradicate us once and for all. And while our warriors are proud and strong, what chance would we have against such a powerful foe? To defeat General Gaius and save our people, we would need a warrior capable of standing against an entire army. This warrior would also need to be pure of heart, incorruptible. So that's why you picked Cassius and Jin, just like...